Hey everyone, in this video, we will learn how to modify queries in Power Query Editor. So uh, let's say I've got a data set here uh, on the Power BI desktop. And I'll just quickly show you the data set that I have. So I'll, I'll just go on to the table view. And it gives me calendar year, English products, subcategory name, and total sales amount. And let's say I want, uh, maybe I want a field which gives me the profit, which is just 10% of the total sales amount. Or, or I want to modify the query and tweak the this name to sales amount. So uh, there are multiple ways we could change the name, but let's see how we could modify it in the Power Query Editor. So I'll go into the Home tab, and on the Home tab, I'll click on this uh, uh, table icon with a pencil. So uh, click on Transform Data, and what it does is it opens the Power Query Editor for me. So you can see that the Power Query Editor has opened for us, and we'll just click on this table uh, data Excel. And you can, you can see that it is just showing the data to us. So we've got calendar year, English product name and sales amount. And maybe I just want to tweak this and modify my query. So what I do is if I remove this and just keep sales amount and I hit enter, and you will see there will be a step which will get added here. So let's hit enter. And you can say, see there's a step called renamed columns which has been added. Now let's say I, I want to maybe add maybe another step. So I go on to the add column. And say custom column. So we'll just call this column profit person, and which is just equal to 0.1. So let's say 10% is into sales amount. And I'll hit OK. So let's say I'm making 10% of profit on every item. So so it says not pro so you can see it's added this column for us and it's added a step. Now I realize it's not profit percentage I've got, it's just profit. So I, I'll get rid of the profit percent and you'll see a step gets added here. So this is how we keep modifying the queries that uh, we use to extract the data. So once you've got the data set and loaded into Power Query Editor, we might want to make some changes to our data set. Maybe we want to add a new field, maybe we want to rename a column. Maybe we just want to uh, do some additional transformation that you think about. So uh, for that, you can, uh, you know, come to Power Query Editor and then make the changes. And so we've, we've just uh, learned how to do that. So when you're on the Power BI desktop, and there could be multiple ways to get here. I On the Home tab, I clicked on Transform Data. It opened the Power Query Editor for me. And then I selected the query I wanted to modify or change to Data Excel in this case. You could have maybe 10 or 12 queries. And you could just select the one you want to change. So you'll have the query name on the left-hand side. And as you make the changes, additional steps will keep getting added on the right hand side. So let's say I, I'm, I was happy with profit percentage, I could remove this. And you know, this, this becomes available. So I can, I can keep modifying, I can add, I can delete, I can make changes to existing steps as well. So in this video, we've essentially learned how to modify a query, which has been created in the Power Query Editor, which includes edit, additions or deletions. Um, so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic. Cheers. Bye.